Compulsory sterilization were carried out in Sweden without a valid consent of the subject during the years 1906-1975 on eugenic, medical and social grounds. In 1922, the State Institute of Racial Biology was founded in Uppsala. In the 1930s, a law was passed that allowed mass sterilization. Another law passed in 1941 was more far-reaching and stated three broad grounds on which sterilization could be carried out. Medical, if a pregnancy could pose a risk to life or good health of a woman suffering from chronic illness or permanently weaken constitution. Eugenic, which allows sterilization people considered insane or with severe illness or with a physical disability so that these traits are not passed on to the offspring. Social, which allows sterilizing people deemed unsuitable to foster a child due to mental illness, being feeble-minded or having an antisocial lifestyle. The number of eugenic sterilizations peaked in the 1940s. According to government report published in 2000, 21,000 people were estimated to have been forcibly sterilized, 6,000 were coerced into a voluntary sterilization while the nature of a further 4,000 cases could not be determined. From the 2000s, the Swedish state paid out damages to victims who filed for compensation. Psychosurgery was also widely used in the modern mental hospitals in Sweden of the late 1940s. Hospitals in the Nordic country operated on hundreds of patients. More than 4,000 patients were lobotomized in Sweden. Those operated on were primarily patients with burnout, schizophrenia, and incurable residual condition following severe chronic disease. The hesitancy about the value of lobotomy or the high level of mortality that was reported at several congresses in the Nordic countries received very little attention. This did not change until 1951, when a doctor at a mental hospital in southern Sweden alerted the press that six out of a series of 21 lobotomized patients had died. Some mental hospitals had already abandoned the method by 1951.